Victoria on the downfall of the Otis Funkmeyer cookie. How you doing, Nate Ross? Nice Great. How are you doing? It's today. good to be here. Hi. Hi. Could you give us a little introduction on your story about the downfall of the Otis Funkmeyer cookie? Well, uh, me and my colleague here, Ryan, who's still a little distraught about the matter, uh, we did a little research. Uh, we were talking about it one day, and we realized that the Otises have totally gone downhill. Um, I noticed that as well. Since my freshman year, I definitely noticed the change. Yes. Um, you know, there used to be tens on the Otis rating scale. Now they've dropped to about uh, a two, or possibly even negative. <laughs> uh, we felt that this was an issue that must be talked about. Um, and so, here it is. All right, well, let's see some news footage from Nate Ross. How you doing? I'm Ryan Bevins. And this is the downfall of the Oaks. Guidance counselor, great man, Mr. Amato. Mr. Amato, now there's been a lot of controversy going on about this Otis cookie thing. What do you think? Well, uh, as an Otis fan, I'm a little disgruntled lately. Uh, used to be the nice, soft, mushy, right out of the oven taste, and uh, you know, I'd like to go back to the glory days. Let's get back to the glory days. A little chunky right now, a little crunchy, a little hard, and um, we want to go back to soft and mushy. You heard it right there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's pull back. Thank you, Mr. Amato. And this is the downfall of the Oaks. Thanks, Nate. That was very interesting. It looks like many people are upset about the Otis cookie. Yes. What do you think will come out of this story? Well, um, I think in the long run, the Otises will become better, but it has been rumored that the uh, Otis being cooked more has been linked to salmonella. So do you think they'll try to arrange something so that they can bring the old Otis's back? Do you think they're going to do that for the students? Um, possibly. I think uh, by having this little show here, we have done something for the community and the students' well-being. That's what we're trying to do here. Thanks a lot, Nate. Thank you. Thank you.